Let's create Drupal project. Write down where this project will be. Select version. Write down database name, login and password to your database. On MAMP default, login is root without password. Let's write table brackets, Drupal 7. Write down admin login, password and email. Select Drupal models that you need at your project. In my case, it's blog, menu and comment. Select Drupal team. Code Lobster downloads the last version of Drupal and installs it, and creates Drupal database for you. Wait for a few minutes. Let's create small anti-spam module. Write down module name and description information. This version is only for 7th version. Write down code in your module. I have interested the finished code so as not to waste your time. Now I am writing form information to display it. There are type, title of checkbox and weight. Completion list contains attributes and attributes values of the Drupal form array. Completion list contains names of all standard Drupal commands on mouse over shows health information. If checkbox is not selected, we will display error message spammers must die. Save all changes. Go to your Drupal site and browser. Log in as administrator.
to comment something at some post. Set comment permission for the article open. Post it. Go to Administration Zone. Go to Models. Select your module and save configuration. Go to People Zone. Permissions. Let anonymous users view comments, post comments, comment without a proof and edit own comments. Save configurations. Log out to become an anonymous user. Go to your article. Write some comment and leave I am not a spammer. Checkbox unchecked. Push save. Here is our error message. Spammers must die. Now check our checkbox and push save. Here is your comment. That's all. As you can see, with Code Lobster, in a few moves, you can create Drupal project.